Hello friends, welcome to Dynamic Programming Tutorial. Today we will discuss Introduction to Dynamic Programming Properties of Dynamic Programming which includes Optimal Substructure and Overlapping Subproblems Dynamic Programming Approaches Top Down and Bottom Up Examples of Dynamic Programming Algorithms Before starting, don't forget to subscribe to Codex Dynamic programming equals to recursion plus memoization. That means solve subproblems recursively and store as already computed values. Let's understand it using Fibonacci series. In Fibonacci series, the current number is the sum of previous two numbers. The Fibonacci series is defined as follows. This is the recursive implementation. Please note there are two recursive calls happening here. Time complexity of this code will be 2 raised to the power n. Let's see how memoization will help here. Calling fib5, from this picture we can see that fib2 was calculated 2 times, fib1 was calculated 4 times and so on. If n is too big, then many more subproblems are recalculated, which leads to an exponential time algorithm. Instead of solving same subproblems again and again, we can store the previous calculated values and reduce the time complexity. Memoization. Start with a recursive function, add a table that maps the function's parameter values to the results computed by the function. We can see how dp reduces this problem's time complexity from exponential to polynomial. Let's see bottom-up approach implementation. Bottom-up approach starts with lower values of input and keep building the solutions for higher values. Pause this video, check out the code. In top-down approach, we preserve the recursive calls and use the values if they are already computed. The implement town is as follows. Problem complexity reduces to big O of n. Because if a value is already computed then we are not calling the subproblems again. We don't have to store all the previous values. Instead, if we just store last two values, code will look like this. While solving the problems using DP, try to figure out the following two points. See how problems are defined in terms of subproblems recursively. See if we can use some table, memoization, to avoid repeated calculations. Some of the examples of DP algorithms are. 0 1 knapsack, subset sum, TSP, LCS, lease, Bellman Ford Algo and many more. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you find it useful then do let us know in comments section below. Do not forget to like and share.